In today's Polka Web Wallet tutorial, I'm gonna be looking at the teleport feature to show you how you can teleport your Kusama over from Kusama to StateMind because StateMind is the test network parachain where a lot of tokens can be held onto, right? So in order to actually hold tokens on StateMind, you need to hold some KSM on StateMind. For example, if you wanna get Remark over from KuCoin to StateMind, you need to have some Kusama for transaction fees in your state mine Kusama address. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that and then I'm gonna show you how you can actually send your Kusama over to Moon River Network to be able to buy some XC Remark, which is Remark on Moon River as well. Uh, that's another option, of course. So let's kick it off with how you can transfer to state mine or how you can teleport to state mine because you're ultimately teleporting. Well, first I've got this test account here on Polka.Web Wallet. Okay, I have sent myself 0.01 KSM, okay, to play around with. So now I'm going to teleport over to StateMind. Uh, before I teleport to StateMind, I need to show you here that if you click on the top left-hand corner of the screen, uh, you will see different uh, features here, okay? So you need to look for StateMind, and StateMind is the one underneath, okay? This is the test network parachain, and then you can simply switch to go to StateMind, but we're gonna do that after. So the first thing we need to do is we need to teleport by going to Accounts, then we click teleport which is right down here at the bottom and then it even tells you here where do you want to send from well i want to send from test state mine extension this is my username i've got 0.01 ksm as you can see this is the transferable balance and i want to send to the test state mine address uh, which is on state mine chain because this is the destination okay as you can see the address is exactly the same okay it doesn't change it's still your kusama address the difference is that it's on state mine chain and it needs to be teleported there of course so how do you do it well we need to choose the amount that we want to teleport. So let's say I don't want to teleport my full balance. So I'm going to go with 0 0.005. Okay, that's what we're going to be teleporting today for the test. I teleport, then sign and submit the transaction. Okay, let me move this across so you can see how it looks like. So this is the pop-up here. And as you can see on, the, uh, on this side here, it's waiting. It's waiting for my signature. So I need to enter the password. Okay, sign this transaction. And now it's waiting. Let's see, let's see. Okay, there we go. You see it's been sent. Now my balance is 0 0.049 because I've also paid the transaction fee. So now we need to move over to StateMine. We switch to that uh, parachain there. Okay, so we're in StateMine now. And as you can see, my balance is not 0 0.005 because I did have to pay that transaction fee as well. So I took that transaction fee and my transferable balance now is 0 0.001 uh, over on state mine okay that's my transferable balance now they do recommend that you have at least 0 0.005 on state mine okay in order to uh, be able to receive state mine tokens and if you go to network here and if you go to assets for example you can see the full list of assets that are available on state mine and remark is one of them here uh, in this list okay they are going to be removing remark by the way from uh, state mine so you're no longer going to have to worry about that as you can see there are different ones that were created here metaverse iron etc right all these different ones okay so yeah uh, like i said remark is one of them this is the one here remark.app okay this is the one uh, which is the the real one let's say uh, but then you could have nfts as well there uh, so let's go back to accounts so again unfortunately this is just showing you what the transaction fee is like okay so because of this high transaction fee that i had to pay i should have transferred more so i should have transferred 0 0.01 ksm over to state mine so in that case if i would have done that then i would have had a bigger balance because you need to have 0 0.005 as a minimum in your transferable balance when you uh, receive those state mine assets okay such as remark because in order to send them back you will need to have that balance available in your account okay uh, because the transaction fees are all paid in kusama okay this is something to keep in mind here when you're transferring something off state mine okay and again if you're transferring state mine assets like remark from state mine over to qcoin for example you need to also send some kusama over to your remark deposit address okay your remark deposit address will be the same as your kusama address okay but it has to be the remark deposit address and not your kusama address on the exchange such as qcoin because otherwise you're not going to be able to pay those transaction fees in Kusama uh, when you're sending out Remark on state mine. Okay, that's the idea behind it. Okay, and that's why Qcoin is not paying that on your behalf. You need to make sure you have them. That's the downside of using state mine, unfortunately. But next, we're going to look at a different feature. 
and that's to convert your Kusama over to Moon River Network to XC. KSM, okay, that's the tokenized version of Kusama on Moon River Network. So first we need to go to Kusama here, uh, we switch. Okay, we can see we've got 0 0.0049 KSM available. Okay, this is our transferable balance. We need to go to Moon River Network and we've got some over here for transaction fees. I had to send this across uh, to have this for transaction fees to my Ethereum wallet. Uh, which means that it's also compatible with Moon River Network. Now I've done a different video showing you how you can connect to Moon River Network. I'm not going to focus on that in this one. The purpose is to show you how you can deposit uh, some XCKSM. Okay, so this is how you convert it. Now I do recommend you add it to MetaMask as well because then you can see the ticker symbol XCKSM in your MetaMask wallet. So let's go to deposit here. Uh, it does tell me I need to connect to Polka.js. Okay, so let's connect. Okay, it's asking me to choose an address. As you can see, the origin here is Kusama. I've got my test statement address because it's finding my uh, Polk.js account. Okay, so next I want to transfer something. Okay, I'm not going to transfer the full thing because you want to keep some for the fees as well. So let's say maybe 2.5. Okay, I need to enter the password. Okay, so let's wait for that. Okay, that's done. Transaction is confirmed. Need to wait for that to happen. Okay, so as you can see here, we got our Kusama over to uh, XCKSM over to Moon River. Okay, it's no longer KSM, it's now XCKSM, and we can always send that back if we want to just by withdrawing there. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it works here. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the tokens on Zenlink because I had too little. I had 0 0.0025. It was just not enough. Uh, it seems that Zenlink doesn't recognize balances that are less than 0 0.004, maybe 0 0.003. They probably have a limit because of the transaction fee. So I sent another little bit of KSM. As you can see here, now we've got 0 0.0042 KSM. So now if we go to Zenlink and we search for XCKSM, XCKSM, you could see we can see our balance here okay before i wasn't able to see the balance so that's why i went back and sent more xckSM and now let's say i want to buy xc remark it tells me here what i'm going to get right i'm going to get 0.05 xc remark for 0.004292 ksm so all you have to do now is approve the xc uh, ksm and then once you do that then uh, you swap okay so once you approve you need to wait for the transaction to go through and then you need to swap okay so that's how that actually works and then so what you actually have to do after that is you go here and you can see uh, your xc remark after you buy uh, with xckSM okay so now you can see my balance of xckSM and then xc remark would show it here now you may be asking yourself how can you actually add the token here well you have to go to the website for remark or for moonbeam i should say uh, where it tells you what remarks um, metamask smart contract address is okay for moon river network okay so this is the smart contract address here as you can see the reason why i had to go here and i couldn't just get it straight from uh, moon river's website is because when you click add to metamask here it doesn't seem to work properly okay it does work with uh, google chrome so i didn't have problems with that but i'm using mozilla for this test so perhaps it's just not working well with mozilla so if you encounter this kind of problem i'm going to be putting a link uh, down below for moon Re for uh, xc uh, remarks a uh, smart contract address so that you can add it here and now this does work fine for xc ksm so you can just simply click on add to metamask and then you're going to get the pop-up on metamask and you'll be able to transfer them over okay so that's pretty much how you do it here i just wanted to show you how easy it is to do all these swaps you just need to make sure you do these connections before uh, to connect to both your polka.js and to your metamask wallet in order to have this dex up and running uh, and uh, basically ready for the swap okay so that's uh, that's how it works and now if you want to swap your xckSM back and send it back to your uh, polk.js you can do that you just go to withdraw here then you type in the amount of xckSM that you want and then the kusama address note that you actually have to copy and paste the address here it doesn't automatically recognize your polka.js wallet in the case of withdrawals you need to copy the address from here by clicking on this bubble go back to this 
paste it and then hit send okay so that's how it actually works so yeah this is pretty much it this is how it works this is how you do it i hope you found this informative let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this whole process i'll be happy to answer in the comments below thank you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye